All right, here we are for uh, the final round of this PTQ Finals. Um, I end up losing this round to finish ninth. I'm currently 5-1, and one. Um, I, but I lost my first round, and that gives me pretty bad breakers. There end up being four, three or four 5 and 2s that make it, and then I'm the first 5 and 2 that doesn't make it at the end. So losing round 1 is really bad on your breakers. Um, and then, you know, losing your winning in is really bad for locking up top eight. Um, but end up playing against Teamer Marvel, the, the deck that ends up winning this event. So, let's see, where are we? Yeah, Zooth. Apparently, Zooth is Martin Dang's girlfriend. She ended up winning this tournament. So... Alright, um, there is one decision here that I feel that I had control over and did poorly, but besides that decision, we did not play very much magic. Okay, that decision comes up in game two, apparently. Uh, I keep this hand, because, uh, am I on the draw? Yes, I'm on the draw. So, I keep this hand, because it's got a lot of interaction in it. Um, but it's really, really bad against not aggressive decks. Um, so, yeah. I, in the dark, I think I would keep this hand. Um, but end up getting quite punished for it. Yeah. So they're playing Marble. If they were playing, like, any creature-based deck... <laughs> It would be preferable. So they play Rogue or um, Whirler Virtuoso here. If we had left up Harness Lightning, we could have killed it in response to the second ability. Instead, we play to the board to get Dynamo Tower in play. They make a bunch of Thopters, and then I guess they just drew Marvel this turn because. They wouldn't have made Thopters if they had a Marvel in their hand, or they might have drawn their fourth land this turn, I don't know. Um, but So we're not dead yet, but we're basically just dead to Woodweaver's Puzzle not popping. Um, yeah. So they attack. They play Aether Hub, and then pop Puzzle Not for four energy. And then spin into an Ulamog, and we're dead! All of these early interaction spells that we got never got cast. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, fun interactive game of magic. Um, so that was game one. And then here's game two. Um, this, so we're on the play. And this is our seven card hand with no lands in it, or with not nowhere near enough lands in it. So if this were a green source, I would be more tempted to keep, since we have a curve of Essence Scatter and Harness Lightning into Disallow into Glimmer, um, if this were a land or if this were a green source. But I think we have to mulligan this. So we mulligan it, just straight unkeepable hand, mulligan again, and I end up keeping this one because Thing in the Ice is one of the few ways to um, put a clock on them. Like I'm not, I'm not going to win this game off of card advantage, <laughs> um, mulliganing to five. So I keep this hand with hopes of flipping an early thing in the ice. I'm going to miss my first land drop, but I think that mulliganing to four gives me worse odds um, than trying to build a game plan around this thing in the ice. I end up not drawing a land and just lose. Um, so I did not play very much magic this round. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there's too much that I can do I, that I could have done differently in this in this match. Like, game one, 
that hand that hand is like the perfect hand against an aggro deck and but it didn't have any counter magic in it so it just dies to marvel um yeah so it was it was disappointing very disappointing way to end the tournament especially coming in ninth but it was still a good tournament overall and as i said getting mana screwed here at the end is only fitting because i played against three people that got mana screwed in the deciding game um so you know variance giveth variance get taketh away if i didn't if I wanted to play a game without variants, I would play chess, but I don't want to play a game without variants, so. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this was informative. Uh, my big takeaways from this are that I love Traverse in a control deck. Uh, it's not always on, but let me rephrase that. I love Traverse in a control deck that has Thing in the Ice in it, because even though it's not always on, it can still trigger thing in the ice um and it allows you to just play more lands and win the control mirrors control is solidly tier two it seems in the format so far currently um so i like being able to um just have an edge in the control matchup yeah so here's the current metagame as of today mardu still way ahead then black green which um depending on the two drops they play, is a decent matchup. Blue-Red, love the mirror match with Traverse, and then Aetherworks is a good matchup if, uh, yeah, if you draw your counter spells. Uh, if you draw only spot removal, then it is not a good matchup. So uh, thanks for watching, and hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any feedback or, you know, comments. Leave them below. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.